Red 2 standing by, all four lit and in the green. Welcome back to Yoshi's Crafted World. We're making the final charge today as we head into Mr. Geary's factory. I've always had an interest in those factory slash industrial style levels. It's probably because my first experience with Banjo-Kazooie was actually Rusty Bucket Bay. Playing it at a friend's place. Great spot to throw in a beginner. The most notorious level in the game. Admittedly, the engine room is really, really crummy. Not going to lie about that, it's very awkward and demanding. But the rest of the level is comparatively relaxed. Like, it's still a bit tougher. Don't want to go down there, nothing there. But it could be a lot worse. There are finicky jumps. I'm not going there just yet. There are finicky jumps in Click Clock Wood I hate making even more. Now. At least here is a spot we can hide, safe from being squashed. But yeah, I think because of that, I've had that interest in those sort of tough industrial style levels with the industrial motif. And on top of that, I happen to like Rusty Bucket Bay's music. Yes, it makes me seem a bit ridiculous, but I don't know, I've always had a bit of a liking for those jazzy sounds. And we have some Bazooka Shy guys. Very much like Carbine, I believe is... Well, bazoo there's Bazooka and Carbine in Donkey Kong Country 3. Carbine is the owl that shoots at you from the background. And Bazooka is the Kremlin enemy that shoots barrels out of the out of the rocket launcher. Almost got it. Excellent. Now was there a platform? Whoa. Let's make sure we grab that and hit our checkpoint. And of course we've got ammunition stations with lava. There we are. Nice and smooth for the most part. Don't run into the lava. You remember what happened last time you stuffed around with lava, don't you? Alright. I think this is it, the auto-scrolling section of the factory. The gears are literally set in motion and we have to escape the rising lava. Well, that wasn't bad. Radio, jump on these platforms very much like you're navigating TikTok clock in Super Mario 64 and please throw the egg. That's lava! That came at me a little faster than I anticipated. I thought I had a pretty strong lead, then all of a sudden it's just there. But the enemies are cleared out of the way. Suppose that was just my Stormtrooper level accuracy coming back again. Alright, clear the lava. Clear that. That's the worst part, that I was right at the end of it all too. I mean, that time we didn't even see it anywhere near us. So we'll have to wait for those coins to come around. Are they, even, they weren't even red coins. Those are though. Whoa! That one's on me! Ooh, we don't want to go through there. I believe the words Professor Lava Hot would be a good warning for me to follow right about now. Alright, oh, we're going to need some trick shooting on this one. There we are. I'm actually surprised I did fairly well. Probably because I didn't rush it. It's 
probably my greatest we one of my great weaknesses that if I rush things and I panic trying to do them too fast, I can and will botch them. But if I sort of sit there and think and actually just talk through things, it goes so much better for me. So we'll wait till the next time that pounds down and we'll move onwards. So this guy. Well, we got some coins. I see that up there. Now this is going to be a trickier shot. Alright, well that wasn't bad, so we got coins. Which, to be honest, I could have got if I'd been sensible and waited. Then we'll have to make the mad dash up there. Uh, have we got everything? Yep, let's roll around. <sighs> That's a little annoying. I didn't mean for that to happen. Alright. So use these as steps. Is there anything on the other side of this? Thought so. So now we have to move up here and... Uh, up there. Thank you. So we stand up there and manoeuvre our way... Try to avoid getting crushed as we manoeuvre across the gears and move towards the top of the factory. Well, we've got some health. And of course, there's a mini boss. The titular Mr. Geary is our opponent. Very long fall. You again? You are driving me crazy! I won't allow you to go one step further! And there is our opponent. We have to knock bits of paper off him. Now, where's he going? Don't run into the shy guys, you... Okay. There we are. Now we'll need to wait for that other one to... Not sure what happened there. I just switched off for a moment. He's moving a lot faster. How did I pull that off? Anyway. Apart from a few screw-ups, Mr. Geary is fairly easy to defeat. And I'm honestly surprised I landed that last shot. Well, drop the ball on the health, but like I said, costumes. They make it at least easy to get that flower. And you look nice doing it. So, the final pathway opens up. We've got a freebie. But let's get them all. We get one and then we get the rest. And just a common one. Red trash bin. Well, those coins are all money for nothing now. And we get, drum roll please, 
Electric lift. Light bulb. Barrier. Gears. Little marcher, so that's what those things are. I'm pretty sure with the Gears costume, there's a green apple, we'll wind up looking like some sort of spin-off of the clink line from Pokemon. Painted wall. And bat and black coffee creamer. So that's got all those wrapped up. Let's get going. Run along the final path. Thirty smiley flowers. Which is no trouble at all. But you know what this is going to be. This is the final boss. Got to admit, they had a pretty good aesthetic for Bowser's Castle. So yeah, we've just got all the usual gubbins. So. We go into the last level. It's been a while, so forgive me if I'm rusty on this fight. Mind you, I've been playing pretty rustily throughout- is rustily even in a check? I've been fairly rusty throughout this whole LP. I don't think rustily is a word. But appropriately enough, Green Yoshi will fight the final boss and get the green gem. We call on our friends. Interesting note. Wait, why'd they bring the Sun Dream Stone? Now, every other time they've left the Sun Dream Stone back there and only one Yoshi has turned up, so you just have to imagine that this is... Well, not imagine, but realise that this is a phenomenal moment of stupidity on their part that makes no sense. <laughs> Thanks for going all for, to all the trouble to gather these for us. I'm forgetting my lines. Where's the prompt guy? At last we have succeeded. His pushiness will finally see his dreams fulfilled. You brought this on yourself, Yoshis. Ah, yes, all of our tribulations have been worth this fated day. Finally, we got them all. Hurry up, I want to make my dream happen. Of course, your stumpiness. Make a wish, whatever your stinky little heart desires. I was going to say that it, the sun dream, the area where the sun dream stone is kept actually does get brighter. I'm the biggest, baddest, most awesomest robot! Maybe that's why Bowser Jr. has Digger Leg and Mega Leg under his control. Mind you, he's really stuffed up. Wishing for a giant robot that the Yoshis could still defeat is kind of along the lines of uh, Commander Red wishing to make himself taller. Anyway, our gorgeous stop-motion robot has captured the Yoshis and thrown them into space. Well, they're all dead now. Green Yoshi is the only survivor. For ridiculous combining mecha. That is... Well, there's the command module. And I'll form the head. The Great King Bowser. So. Jump those. S 
essentially kids' fantasies come true in some sort of nightmarish mixture. Anyway, grab as many eggs as you can. Because we have to shoot those down. Two eggs does it, so I should have fired... ...a little faster on the other one. You are in so much trouble! Plenty of coins are done. And of course we have to dodge some literal bottle rockets again. Okay, now these things we just have to double back. Whoops. Double. Two hits will take those out. And we've got different rockets this time. We've only got one egg though. Watch out for these gears. They do have very predictable patterns. Wait till it shudders. Well, we've damaged it. Alright. Oh, well, I got two. That's okay. So, f more flying gears. Watch the bounce. And shoot it from above you. And once again, give him a ground pound to the stomach. That's really got to hurt his digestive system. Didn't jump in time. That one's on me. And watch as they change directions too. Dodge these pencils. And we can only get one egg at a time, it seems. More gears. Second batch thereof, but if you stand in the right spot, nothing to fear. Crouch under those. Alright, we've got two eggs. We can take out one of them. The fight does take a little while, but... Whoops, got myself clipped there. Not very smart. You will only have to dodge... Oh, just fell out of the air on the flutter jump. That was a little surprising. A little disappointing, if I'm going to be honest, too. Fortunately, this one's fairly simple to dodge, but... There we are. I think we can swallow some of the fireballs he leaves behind? No. There we go, and... In the guts. But we'd better grab those hearts, because it's not over yet. We've broken his robot. The other Yoshis are still dead, though. What have you done to his petulance? Worry not, I will help you. Apologies if my Kamek voice is going a bit loud and all over the place. Well, he's a bit bigger. And there's the Sundry. Sundream Stone, grant his impishness even more strength! Oh my, I may have overdone it. And we are sent out into space. Fortunately, Yoshis can breathe in space. And there's our big bad baby Bowser. With a health bar. And a nice hat. Mega baby Bowser. 
Probably sounds like a combination from the Munchkin card game. Right, so we have to dodge his attacks. They start out fairly basic. And let's see. He will fire these stars into the air. Dodge them as they fall. Then steal one of those. And start ground pounding when you get the opportunity. And we smack him right in the guts. Admittedly, the health bar is just for show. Well, partly. He's moved on to the next stage of the fight and we have a meteor shower. Those big ones are very slow. We can maneuver out of the way and use them as shields. And he'll start launching more attacks. So there'll be a big stream of fireballs. Now watch out for his... Uh, watch out for the stars. Work out his attack patterns. And we've got Pencil Pusher. And wait till he gets to the side. And hit him. And smack right in the chest again. And the petulant little brat isn't very happy. Another meteor storm. So we can just sort of wander out of the way. That blows up. It's a bit longer this time now. Surprisingly enough, the explosion doesn't really damage us. So. Stay a long way away from him. Time your attack. Time your jumps. Sorry. And avoid the stars. Jump around to move a little quicker. Get to the edges. Alright. So what we want to do is hit this target. And then while he's punching that... Ground pound away on the other side. And there we go. We've knocked all the gems out of the Sundream Stone. But we've bashed Baby Bowser. And something's loading. Baby Bowser is slowly shrinking back to normal size. Hey, the other Yoshis aren't dead after all. Kick him while he's down! Kamek is not happy. How dare you do this to his pokiness! You will pay for this, someday! I'm not even going to try to do that because I'll probably wreck the speakers. And Kamek and Baby Bowser retreat. The Yoshis are at least nice enough to wave him farewell. Presumably with one finger, but they can't show that. There it is, the Sundream Stone is actually dead. For now. But once we put the gems back in... Why on earth they brought it with them? That was a particularly stupid idea. I mean, if they had just left it and taken everything back like they had normally, they would have been fine. And there we are, we've got it back together again. And so the Sundream Stone was finally restored. Together, the Yoshis dreamed that they could be returned to their island home.
We have to go now, our planet needs us. Interesting how the bottom of it kind of reminds me of Bert a bit. So we have a gorgeous starship being put together. It's the Starship Yoshi. Alright, let's head back home. Slowly and steadily we cruise home as the staff credits roll. Goodfield does some really nice work. They did Kirby's Epic Yarn, Yoshi's Woolly World, and now this. It's been an interesting project. There we are, Kamek and Baby Bowser limping home as the Yoshi's Skyship, Starship, whatever it's going to be, passes over them. Baby Bowser wants a chase. It's probably the most half-hearted chase scene I've ever witnessed, I shouldn't say seen. But we know that he's going to be back to try again. But yes, it has been quite a fun project, even though I was struggling with the desire to go get 100% on screen. But I decided I didn't really want to do that because I wanted to show the relaxed side of this. You're more than welcome to go for 100% if you want, and it's a good game to challenge yourself. We'll see a few levels here. It's exploring the Animal Kingdom, and the Rhinonos are still reunited. Bombs away on Pirate Island, I believe. And that's our Woolly World homage. I've temporarily forgotten the name. And we can see the Poochie Pups and Poochie. Or at least, yep. But yeah, it's been a really fun project. Just something relaxing and enjoyable to do. Because, well, I've had a few things that haven't quite gone right. I've been trying to record Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones, but I'm really not happy with how everything turned out on that. I just feel there's something missing, like the episodes are dragging on a bit much. And the fact that I wanted to do level grinding to try and show off as many of the characters as possible, get as much as I could, kind of hindered me a little bit, I feel. We just saw Weighing Acorns and the, that's uh, Whistle Stop Rails down there, I believe. With a Yoshi Rock in the foreground. So I wasn't really enjoying working on Sacred Stones and I'm probably going to wind up leaving it for the time being until I can really work out how the best way to go about it is. Because I had a whole lot of fancy little counters I wanted to add, like crummy level ups and things, I suppose it would be easier if I just didn't add that. And we're back through the first level, Rail Yard Run. So I'll work out what I want to do with that, but I'll be preparing my next project soon enough. A childhood favourite. And... As we cruise into view, we've finally wrapped everything up and the Yoshis have gone back home. The Yoshis were finally returned home to their peaceful island. And they lived happily ever after. Here we are. Thank you for playing. Beautiful indeed. Well. The Hidden Hills. That's the bonus area. I'll get around to that at some point. And boss challenges. You'll have to get flowers for them. But. For now. That's pretty much all we're doing. We've wrapped up. The main story, I'll get to those Hidden Hills levels later on. 
may show the boss challenges, I may not, because I admit I'm not terribly good at some of them and I probably need to practice on the final boss a bit more. But we'll just take one last rotation along the title screen. You can see we've got a piranha plant snoozing there as the Poochie Pups roam around. There's a shy guy. You can see Kamek and Baby Bowser hiding and scheming. And there's a couple of shy guys around the back. You get to see all the cardboards and struts and things. And there's another Poochie Pup hiding out. A good, relaxed and mellow way to end a wonderful journey. It has been a pleasure showing this off, even if I've screwed up a few times and I've been a bit more frazzled than I would have liked to be. A few personal crises and all that, not major crises if I'm going to be honest, just sometimes just those moods where things aren't going right and don't feel right. But you can always come back to this game, play a favourite level, just cruise along and relax. And hopefully I've helped you relax and have a bit of fun along the way. And we're back to the beautiful artwork at the front of it all. As always, hey, I think you can see Baby Bowser through there. That's not the as always. But, thank you very much for joining me on this wonderful adventure. And yes, you can see him at the door sometimes there. So... Until our next mission, stay safe and be good to one another. It's a pleasure having you along, and I'll see you next time. For now, this is Red 2, returning to base. Mission complete. <laughs>